perfecting the latest batch of beer at the only brewery in the Palestinian territories. Founded by an entrepreneur with a passion for beer and his homeland, Taiba now exports to Japan and Chile. But it's fairly small scale. Without control of their own borders, sea and airports, the Palestinians must do everything by Israel's book. That stifles economic expansion. And almost every Palestinian businessman has a story about deliberate attempts to hinder trade. Every time we get a shipment from Europe, we have to pay uh, for the Israeli Standard Institute to test this uh, raw material. Uh, they give uh, first priority to the Israeli companies and then we're second. Tiber Brewery is desperate to expand and the Palestinian Authority needs it to along with other businesses. It's mainly foreign donor aid that keeps the government functioning. There's been three billion dollars worth since 2007 according to the US government. To grow, the Palestinians need a level playing field. If you want to move goods from Naples to Ramallah, this cost has increased by more than 20 percent. If you want to move goods from Naples to, for example, overseas, then that cost has increased by 40 percent by our estimate, simply because insurance has increased, because political risk, and also transportation, the, 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 the air or, or, or uh, seaports have increased this. The biggest unknown for Palestinian businesses is what might happen at Israeli checkpoints. Everything coming into or leaving the West Bank gets inspected. Trucks can be stuck here for hours on end before they're given permission to pass through the Israeli checkpoint. And once they're there, all the materials have to be offloaded and checked by the Israelis before they're given permission to proceed. You can imagine that's a very time-consuming process and adds enormously to the costs of shipping goods out of the Palestinian territories. This pharmaceuticals company in Ramallah has contracts to supply medicines across Europe, but Israeli checkpoints and regulations can delay shipments, forcing Pharmacare to offer discounts to clients to compensate for possible delays. I believe we as Pharmacare have demonstrated that in this horrible situation we managed to get our products into Germany and into the EU. That is giving us hope for the future and of course in Arabic we say life is very narrow without the avenue of hope. It will not stay like this. Eventually we will find ways and the political situation will change. This occupation will end. Palestinian trade with the EU is very limited. Just $9 million worth of goods were exported last year. The Gaza blockade choking off exports from there. The Palestinians are totally reliant on the Israelis, who can decide whether the West Bank economy prospers or just gets by. Bernard Smith, Al Jazeera, Ramallah.